What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing a Regiram team for Regulation G. Now this Regiram team right here is all about setting the sun. You got Ninetales and Grafia to set the sun, and pretty much every single Pokemon besides Grafia really thrives out in the sun. But Regiram is right behind my face cam with the Turbo Blaze ability and the Choice Specs as its item, making it do a ridiculous amount of damage. It's got Terra Blast with that Grass Terror type, it's got Heat Wave, it also has Dragon Pulse, and then it has its signature move, which is Base 130 Stab Blue Flare. This Pokemon hits like a truck, super excited to be using it in the sun today. Our top two Pokemon, Ninetales and Grafire, are our two sun setters. Grafire has Sunny Day with Prankster, and Ninetales obviously has that Drought ability. Both of them also have pretty solid moves, Ninetales with Snarl and Flamethrower, and then Grafia over here can knock off items and use Switch Roof to actually hand off the Iron Ball, making an opponent slower on the field. Our final three Pokemon on today's team going to be featuring Roaring Moon with Protosynthesis, Chi Yu with Beads of Ruin and the Choice Scarf, and last but not least, we got Chlorophyll Jump Bluff to outspeed Pokemon, set up Tailwinds, and use Sleep Powders and put Pokemon to sleep. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Regiram. First match coming at you guys, we are going up against a Coridon Sun team. So we got Sun team versus Sun, ready to go, ready to get after it. But a good Pokemon that I want to lead here is definitely going to be Jump Luff, because we want some speed here. Tailwind could be good for us. And so you know what, I'm going to go Jump Luff, I'm also just going to lead Ninetales. And set that weather. I think that's a good call for us. We can go into both of them. And then in the back end, we can bring our heavy hitters with Choice Scarf Chiyu and Choice Specs Reservoir. So hopefully this can work out strong here. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But um, who do I think they're going to lead? It could lead Incineroar, but that's why I want to lead Jump Luff. That Cobra Cloak, so massive. They fake out that Pokemon. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting real pretty. Because then I could just get off Tailwind, get the Pokemon rolling, put a few Pokemon to sleep. I'm not going to spam sleep. I got morals, but hey, I might use a sleep powder every here and there. But it depends who they lead, because Incineroar are actually kind of a tough customer for us to kind of deal with, right? Especially with the Pokemon that I did bring. I mean, I do have Roar Moon if I wanted to bring him, but honestly, that's not too solid up against Incineroar. But they're going to end up going into double... I was going to say double bird, but uh, double... I don't even know. OG legendaries, I should say. Galarian, Zapdos, and Raging Bolt. We said drought, we give him protosynthesis. He's gonna get a special attack. So from here, I mean sleep powder or tailwind's definitely gonna be your play. I'm gonna set that up, and on top of that, I'm just gonna go into a flamethrower into the ostrich. Just to get things cooking. He ends up just protecting Ranger Bolt, which is good. So I know the ostrich is defiant. That is something we have to watch out for. It's definitely something we have to watch out for. Because I kinda wanna go for snarls in a raging bolt. But I have to kinda deal some damage to this Pokemon first. And Flamethrower doing a nice chunk. Can we get a burn? No burning. We go Tailwind for Tailwind. So Tailwind's here. We're having fun. We're having fun. And honestly, I'm going to put somebody to sleep. Someone's going night-night. Someone's going to sleep. I could Encore you into Tailwind. That's not a bad call. Just Encore this thing into Tailwind. So he's not attacking. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Encore that thing into Tailwind. And I'm also just going to throw a burn onto it. I mean, Raging Bolt's going to go. But um, what's he going to do? Set up a Calm Mind, maybe? I'd rather just burn this thing. That's my plan. So I'm going to Encore you. You're going to click Tailwind again. We're going to try to land this burn onto a nice big time physical attacker. And we're not going to worry about it. So I like this turn. I like this turn all day. As long as Raging Bolt isn't going for Calm Mind. That's, that's my hopes here. Calm Mind's looking a little scary. So we Encore him into that Tailwind. And they do end up going for Calm Mind. So I could see a nice hard swap from this... Uh, from this bird right here, I'm just going to start snarling, and I might just put Raging Bolt to sleep. It's going to be my play. I'm going to put Raging Bolt to sleep and start snarling while this Encore is still going on. So you're going to sleep there, buddy, and I'm just going to snarl up. Snarl, snarl, snarl. All day long. All day long. I know I'm popping Defiant, but as long as this thing's Encored, we should be fine. And he ends up hard swapping regardless. So we'll see the hard swap pop out from here. He's going to go into who? Who you got? He's going to end up going into Incineroar. Okay, so fake out, ready to go. It's gonna intimidate me. And are you gonna protect again here? That could be a little tough for us. No, you don't. Cool, so sleep powder's gonna fly here. And we can just start snarl, snarl, snarl. Maybe he's just hard swap jump bluff. And save that for a little bit later. I'm trying to mind hard swap and jump bluff here. 
We have to get out some Pokemon that can do some damage onto Raging Bolt. Here. The Raging Bolt slump, we're gonna keep Snarling into that slot. Uh, I am gonna hard swap Jump Bluff. You do have Fake Out, and if you're gonna Fake Out anybody, I would think it'd be Jump Bluff. But I really don't mind just going into my boy right here. This Regiram. I'm gonna do this and just Snarl. Snarl, Snarl, Snarl. That's my play. I don't want that thing just combine boost and going crazy. I think if we get out Regiram, we can go for some Dragon Pulses. Which isn't bad up against this Raging Bolt. And Incineroar was kind of scary. I'd rather choice to a Dragon move. So I finally got out my Regiram. I got Turbo Blaze ready to go. I'm going to be able to Snarl again and drop the thing's special attack. Which is lovely. So he's not faking out. He could just be going for a Flare Blitz, which I would love. I would love if you're going for a Flare Blitz in this slot. That'd be big time for me. That'd be big time. Yep, Flare Blitz, awesome. We resist that like crazy. And from here, we are just going to simply Snarl again and choice into a Dragon. They kind of want to force Raging Bolt to swap typings. The Tailwind's gone. I mean, we still should have speed. Because their Tailwind's gone here as well. And yeah, again, I'm just going to choice into a Dragon Bolt. I don't know if they Terrasalize Raging Bolt here. Who could they swap into? Let's swap it to the bird that's burned. Coridon, I would think they would have. So honestly, I think just Dragon Pulsing into the Raging Bolt slot. Probably your best bet. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to stick with a Snarl here. Actually, you might protect. I'm actually just going to Dragon Pulse this, uh... I'm just going to Dragon Pulse this, this, uh... This Incineroar. So he ends up withdrawing Raging Bolt. Cool. So he withdraws Raging Bolt. Who are you going to go into? I'm going to go back into the Zapdos, which I don't mind. I don't mind the Zapdos coming out here. I don't. I mean, it gets a Defiant boost, but it is attack dropped already. And actually, no, it didn't get a Defiant boost. Might be Clear Amulet. It might be Clear Amulet, which is kind of weird. So Dragon Pulse doing a good chunk of damage into Incineroar. You could end up going for a Tailwind here. He's just going to go for a Parting Shot. But I think now's a good turn to maybe just like swap and get Jump Bluff back in here. The M minus one, they could go back in the Raging Bolt, which could be a slight issue. Let's say they go in the Raging Bolt here. I mean, I would just have to keep snarling. But no, they're going to go into Chiyu as their final Pokemon. So Chiyu's going to come across here. Um, and Sunlight's going to fade. No more Sunlight for us. Burn chips up a little bit of damage into you. Um, do I just stay in here? Because you're kind of a light. You are kind of a light, light Chiyu. And I think Snarl is just going to be our best friend. I might as well just keep sending it. I'm just going to keep sending it. So he ends up going for a Tailwind. No big deal. You could go for a Dark Pulse if you want to. I'm just going to keep attacking. You give me no reason not to attack here. And you're just going to go for Dark Pulse into my Night House. No big deal. So I'm able to get off this Snarl, which is pretty massive. The Snarl flying. It already proved that this thing's clear amulet, right? Because its stats weren't dropping the last time we used it. Yeah, it's clear amulet, which is awesome. So I don't have to worry about Defiant. And Dragon Pulse still doing a huge chunk of damage. A huge chunk of damage. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So now I could go in the jump bluff. I kind of want to swap into, like, say, Chiyu. Especially with that choice scarf could be clutch. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I'd rather have Regiram with his choice spec reset. Or I should say with his stats reset. And just go into... I guess just a flamethrower into the turkey. Into the turkey. The ostrich. Whatever you want to call it. But this is a solid matchup here. The Chiyu minus one. That's pretty big. We do swap into Chiyu of our own here with the Choice Scarf, which is huge. And the, the only Pokemon that I really have to worry about here is going to be that Raging Bolt and then some those Pokemon. So I kind of want to have my backhand Pokemon ready to go, ready to rip up. So he's going to end up going for a knockoff, knocking off my Choice Scarf, which is kind of annoying. Not going to lie, I like my Choice Scarf. And I mean, I could just go back into... Uh... We're going to Jump Bluff here. Yeah, because I have to try to set up a, at least a Tailwind, right? I have to get a Tailwind up. I have to try to. I mean, you want to rip in Dark Pulse. It's kind of scary. Uh, do I go into Heat Wave? Or do I just go into Dark Pulse? I think Dark Pulse might be a little bit better. Especially when going up against... Uh... Especially when going up against Roaring Moon. But he ends up going for Heat Wave. And who dodged it? Who just dodged it? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Jump off with the dodge. That's a massive dodge for jump off. 
Sunder's kick on fly through here. Can you soak this or are you dead? I think you're dead to this. Yeah, you die all day. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. I got jump bluff now, and I get off tailwind. So I'm ready to rock with my Pokemon. I'm ready to rock. So I still have Terra, though. I do still have Terra, which is pretty nice for me. Burn's gonna start slowly chipping up. I might have to terrestrialize my jump bluff. I get to go in the res ram here, which is kind of a problem. It's kind of a problem. I have to choice into Dragon Pulse. I have to. It's, a, it's an absolute must. I have to choice into Dragon Pulse here. I have to choice into Dragon Pulse. Honestly, I'm just going to go Dragon Pulse here, and I'm just going to go into Pollen Puff. Because I know you out... Actually, do you outspeed Jump Puff? Just speed at. Without the sun. 178. Okay, yeah. You should be fast on the field, because that thing is not choice. So I should just go Pollen Puff, KO the fish, and then Dragon Pulse into the other side. There we go. Cool. So I'm outspeeding you. Later. Get on out of here. And can you outspeed the bird? I really don't want to be taking any damage here. You're going to knock off my choice scar or choice specs, which is kind of annoying. I kind of wanted those. I kind of want those. So now we're sitting here on the field. Their tailwind should end in like one or two turns. I can simply just pile and puff up, depending on who they go into. Here. I mean, we already know who they're going into. We're just going to heal up Resuram. We might have to Thrasilize Resuram here. We might just have to try to slash I mean, I could put Pokemon to sleep, which is great. But Reseram taking... Oh, you're still asleep. I forgot about that. Attack's gonna drop. That's no big deal. We're special attacking. And from here, I'm not gonna try slice just yet. I think you're gonna be asleep here. So I'm just gonna go Palm Puff. I am gonna go for a... A Dragon Pulse into this Incineroar slot. And I'm going to hope that Razor Bolt's asleep one more turn. Maybe I should Terrasilize, but I'm really hoping he's asleep one more turn. Just one more turn. Just one more turn. That's kind of what I need here. That's kind of what I need. So Fake Out is going to go in the Res Ram slot. Again, we're hoping one more turn we can get out of this. Because the Draco Meteor from Razor Bolt not looking good. And honestly, I can Encore you in the Fake Out now. I can yeah, I need you to sleep. It woke up. No! No, eat this. Eat this. Yes! I mean, you do have Thunderclap, which is kind of scary. Um, do have Thunderclap, which is terrifying. I'm going to Encore you in the fake out here. Rage Bolt protects. Oh, baby, that's massive. That's massive. Hold up, because now you're Encore in the fake out. I can Pollen Puff heal up. I can Terrasilize my boy as well. And I, okay, okay, okay. Slowing things down here. Slowing things down. You have Terra still, don't you? They still have Terra, I believe. They still have Terra. My team's Tailwind's gone. I believe I still have Terra. I should have made Palm Puff last turn. If they Thunderclap me, I'm dead. Which is just terrible. I'm gonna read their Terrasilizing here as well. I, I, I was going to say I could Encore. Or I could just put him to sleep. I don't hope that this is just laying sleep out. No Thunderclaps allowed. No Thunderclaps allowed. We're hoping no Thunderclaps. I believe they haven't Terrasilized yet, right? So I'm hoping they would just Terrasilize the Raging Ball. I should just Terror the Ram Before it woke up. It should have been play because then we could have soaked it really well and not been put in this position. Fake out, blocked, or not happening. No thunderclaps. No thunderclaps. Hold up. We're going for blue flare, though. We're going for blue flare. Not bad damage. Not bad damage. Okay, so he's still choosing to fake out. We have to start healing upper boy with Palm Puff. And honestly, does Palm Puff heal up grass types? I don't know why I have a weird feeling that this would just KO me, but I'm going to do this. Pollen Puff. No, it always restores HP. Okay, cool. It always restores HP. So I'm going to heal up again. This is such a good battle. And are they going to finally Terrasilize this Pokemon? I did go for a blue flare last turn. So, it might think that... They might think that we're, uh, we're chilling here. But I can keep them Encore here. And there's finally they go for the Terra. And this is just odd. They're going to waste out another turn here. So I have to, my thing is here, I have to keep, 
I have to keep Incineroar under Encore, right? I have to keep it under Encore. I have to. Raging Bolt wakes up. Are you kidding me? Okay, and he protects. He protects. Luckily, I'm getting back some HP, HP here. And I, ha I have to keep that Pokemon under Encore. Is he still not under Encore here? I believe he should have one more turn under Encore, which is good. So I might just have to put him back to sleep. Or I could just Encore him. Into Protect. Tough news here. Tough news. Tough news. I could just keep them both Encore. No. Okay. So I have to keep him Encore here. Uh, so from here, I'm just going to go for a Blue Flare. And I'm just going to keep you Encore right now. I don't think you can KO me, even with the Dragon Pulse there. Don't be cutting it close. But yeah, we're going to keep... We're going to keep the Tiger Encore. Keeping it under Fake Out. Not dealing with it. <laughs> and we're going to see how Raging Bolt plays this one. Blue Flare, can you do some big time damage? Almost KO. -ing. Almost KO. -ing. Dragon Pulse, can you soak this? Come on, man. Come on, man. It's big time for us. That's big time for us. Now, do you have Thunderclap is my question. I don't think you have Thunderclap. The way you're using moves, Calm Mind, Protect, Dragon Pulse, and probably Thunderbolt. It's definitely that. From here, I can just rip a Heat Wave. Because once Heat Wave lands, we, we win. Or we KO you. We're kind of just relying on that thing to actually land. And we're going to go into a Palm Puff. So we're getting back HP. Yo, what a first match going on here. So we kind of figured out what they have. This guy doesn't have Thunderclap, which is massive. We would have lost the game if they did. And this incentive, we're, we're just keeping it under Encore this whole time. So I did not sleep spam this game. I, I, I try not to. I definitely could have late in the game here. But I only used two sleep powders. And they were much needed. But Heat Wave's going to fly here, deal some damage. Um, we're just going to spam it again. And we're just going to go for another Palm Puff. Bring our boy all the way back up to full HP while this Incineroar is still on board. So Heat Wave, Palm Puff, keeping Regiram alive. They should just cancel the match. We played this one so well. They honestly played this one well, too. Just Regiram in the back end. Perfect time. Terrors soaking up on 3 HP was massive as well. That Dragon Pulse. This is just the definition of a good Pokemon match. So solid on the casual ladder. Keeping them on board. Yo, Jump Love. Coming in clutch. We love a good old jump off. Palm Puff coming back out here. Here you go, Regiram. Have some more HP. Now they're struggling out here. Because they cannot really do any damage to Regiram without Flare Blitz. And the thing is, we're not letting them use Flare Blitz. Heat Wave takes out the Raging Bolt. We're going to keep this thing under Encore. We don't, we're not truly spec'd anymore, so I can just freely go into Dragon Pulse here. And this thing's Encore ended. But guess what? Guess what? You want to hear something crazy? You're going right back into another one. <laughs> you are going right back into another one. Not dealing with that. So, yeah, you got to watch out for Encore users when you have Fake Out. But there it is. Match number one going to us. Moving on to our second match, and we're going up against a big-time rain team. Kyogre, Tornadus, Landorus in its incarnate form. They also have Rillaboom, Frigograph, and Arch Ludon. So we need Pokemon to set the sun. So, Grafia, you are going to be my lead. Uh, on top of that, I am going to go into maybe just Resurrect. Who could these guys lead? Who could these guys lead? Kyogre, Tornadus, not bad. I mean, I could just go Grafia and maybe just like you because you're actually not bad. Especially get that Protosynthesis boost for speed. Could help us out with some knockoffs and some Dragon Dancing. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to end up going into both of them. And I am just going to bring Chi Yu and Resurrect in the back end. But maybe bring... Ninetales just for extra sun support. I think that might be my play. Bring Ninetales for extra sun support. I like that. I like that. Cannot go wrong with, with, with extra sun up against Kyogre because once you let Kyogre get the rain, it's it's not looking good. It's really just not looking good because then it's just water spout, origin pulse. You're dead. Good game. Thanks for playing. But well, that first match was wonderful for us. I'm actually really glad that was our first match for today's video. Going to the distance. Encore coming in clutch. Pollen Puff coming in clutch as well. Both of those moves. And honestly, them knocking off our choice uh our choice specs won us the game too. But say I was just choice specs in the Dragon Pulse. We were not KOing that region. We wouldn't need to send like a hundred pollen puffs at that thing. But they end up just going straight into uh end up going straight into water squad. So he could end up Ice Beam in my Roaring Moon, which is kind of annoying, but I'm just going to set sun Sunny Day here. And do I Dragon Dance or do I... 
Or do I just attack? I'm going to Dragon Dance here. Especially after setting the sun. I think that could be nice. Even though Water Spout, even in the sun, it's scary. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. So I could Iron Ball next turn if I want to. Just do a switch of item. It's not bad for us. I want to see what this Tornadus wants to do. This Tornadus is either doing two things. Actually, maybe three. It's either going for Bleak Wind Storm, Tailwind, or it's making a read on my Grafia to pop Sunny Day. And just making a Rain Dance call. Which, honestly, I think your Rain Dance would come out first, which is pretty good. Nanos just switch on Kyrie, which is not that big of a deal. Because, again, I'm setting up Dragon Dance. And they end up going in Arch Luna. No big deal. Not a big deal. Not, not a big deal. Sunny Day out and about. We'll get that Protosynthesis boost as well. And we'll go from there. And I could honestly just take that thing's item. Just switch it with the Iron Ball. But I think right now we're gonna we're gonna make a read that they're gonna rain dance next turn. Let's see how this one plays. You're going for Blink Wind Storm? You are in the sun. Not a good look. Not a good look. So I, get, I pick up a dodge here. Um, and I could just parting shot at this point. Into maybe Arch Ludon. Probably be my best bet just to save my user. And I could just go into a Dragon Claw and double down. I mean, if they're going to swap, they're going to swap into... Might just pop a Rain Dance and just go for Electro Shots. But I could swap right into Ninetales if they do go into a Rain Dance. Or even into Kyogre. So, you know, I'm just going to attack the Tornado slot here. Just in case it's a swap with the Kyogre. No, they're just going to go for Rain Dance, which isn't that big of a deal. Because I'm just going to swap right into Ninetales here. And just be annoying. I'm just going to be super annoying. So the double sun support really working well for us. I could actually save it for a turn and just go into Reiser Ram, but I think our best bet is just to set this on now. I can always just snarl both these Pokemon, let's be honest. Snarl could come in clutch. I'm right back in the ninth hills. Nah, nah, I'm not giving um, if you if you're gonna get weather, it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. So Protosynthesis is back. We're back with Protosynthesis. We love it. Dragon Claw gonna fly here. We're looking just to get rid of a uh, a rain user on their end, and they're gonna Rocky Helmet me. He's gonna go for an Electro Shot, which is now two turns charged. Now you got charged for two turns. How you doing? So most likely Rain Dance coming back out and about. Um, again, I could just Snarl, or I could just go back into Grafia, or I could just go into you. I mean, not bad. I think I would want to just go into Grafia here, but I mean, you could just attack me. I don't really know what to do here. I'm going to go into Restaurant. I'm going to save my Grafia. I just think... I just think having him is going to be massive. I'm just going to Dragon Claw Tornadus. So back into Grafia. It could be going for Blink Wind Storm, which is looking a little scary for me. But I think they should go for a Rain Dance regardless. Right? I feel, I feel like they, they want weather really bad. No, they go for Tailwind instead, which is totally fine. I mean, you can have to speed control that way. But now I have all my Sunsetters in the back end. So we're going to say bye-bye to you. Looking just to get rid of Rain. I mean, this thing's already... This thing's even on attack now that it used Electric Shot. And we'll see who's gonna be, who he's going to be sending it on to. It's going to be into the Grafia slot originally. So Ram going to soak really well to that. Dragon and Fire. We love it. We love it. So good swaps from us. So now if they go back into Kyogre, we're just going to change the weather right off the rip. Um, if not, we're just going to keep attacking. Like Blue Flare <laughs> launching them. <laughs> going crazy. Let's see. Again, if they, yeah, again, if they go in the Kyogre, we're just gonna swap the weather. And if not, we're just gonna keep attacking. Which I'm cool with. I could choice in the Dragon Poles. I might choice in the Dragon Poles just so I don't have to deal with weather. And do end up going in the Kyogre here. So I'm gonna keep my Dragon Dance Pokemon on the field. I'm just gonna swap into Nine Tails. That'll be your best bet. Hands down. We we just can't let them have weather. The Nine Tails come back onto the field. Um I could just go for another Dragon Dance if I want to this turn. But I mean, who could they swap into? I mean, Dragon Call is just a solid a solid move. Plus one going into this Kyogre slot. Definitely our best bet. Definitely our best bet. So we're going to do this. Maybe I should have just Trastalized the Roaring Moon here as well. Because I feel like Arch Luna is going to launch a Dragon Pulse into it. But we'll see. <clears throat> we end up just swapping the Regiram. Sun is back out and about. Now we just have to deal with one more Sun or Raid user. And I get my Protosynthesis boost back up. Tiger just protects. Okay, I don't mind. I mean, I could, I could swap Ninetales again next turn. 
So there's that. Dragon Claw gonna get blocked. Um. Let's see if she can go for Dragon Balls. That's what I was scared of. That's really what I was scared of. Right there. Right there is what I was scared of. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. We can now go in the Res Ram and get some free fire shots. Blue Flare Heat Wave. Probably our best call. Probably our best call. You know what I just realized? Why is... Why, why are you why are you flying in the air here? Why are you flying near? You're definitely swapping Kyogre. I'm not I'm not even worrying about it. I'm gonna double down on Arch Ludon. No doubt my mind is swapping Kyogre here. You need you need weather to win this game. But why is Rice Ram flying in the air this match? Is that is that what it does when it's in the sun? That'd be awesome. I'm pretty sure he was standing on the ground last game. Just doing his own thing with his feet. But now he's like flapping his giant wings, getting after it that way. So, I mean, Reservoir is going to be our lonesome attacker here. So, we really need him, and we really might need to swap him. You're going to end up... Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. And Archie Ludon's outspeeding me. That's not good. Oh, because of Tailwind. I forgot about Tailwind, to be honest. Flamethrower is going to chuck up damage. He's going to get stabbing a boost. How much damage can Blue Flare do here? Blue Flare. Tailwind. Cool. That's not good, Kyogre just boosting me. That, that's, that's no bueno. And their Tailwind end? I mean, they can't swap weather anymore, but still. My Pokemon this low HP and Lando coming in the back end? Mm -hmm. No bueno. No bueno. I am going to go for a Snarl here. And I'm going to swap into Grafia because we have to. If I want to win this match, I have to switch my Choice Scarf or Choice Spec move. Well, that Combine play was huge. I really wasn't expecting that. Really was not expecting that, and honestly, they might win this match now. Even though we call it weather control, but that's why Kyogre is so good. There's a lot of different options, a lot of different moves that I can be rocking. Calm Mind, Thunder, Ice Beam, Water moves. It's got a lot to deal with. It's got a lot to deal with. Now, Landers is going to be our big time threat here, and if I can get out Grafia for like one more turn, Kyogre might just protect here, which would be good for us. But if I can get out Grafia for one solid turn here and swap items for the Pokemon. That could be nice. That could be really big for us. He's going to end up going for Earth Power. You are Sash, which is gorgeous. And he didn't protect the Kyogre, which kind of stinks. I'm hoping I get off a Snarl. What are you going for, Kyogre? Another Combine, maybe? Ice Beam. Can you soak this? No. Not happening. I do get off a Snarl, though, which is kind of nice. But at this point, I really, I really want it what's going on. I really want it. You're fired to do a switcheroo. Really want to Grafia for a switcheroo. Yeah, this is this is not looking good now. Their Tailwind is gonna end, but are you guys faster? I think even if you are faster, we're not winning this game. Yes, might be. Yes, might be. But again, even if we are, we're not winning this game. It's just not happening, especially with the special defense boost and how low of HP we are. It's just not happening. It's just not happening, and I don't have like Solar Flare on my. On my uh, nine tails, or solar beam, I should say. But they just outspeed us regardless. Solid second match, going to distance. Weather war going crazy. They end up just countering me with Kyogre and Landers in the end there. So let's see how this one finishes off. Oh, uh, we we do go for Snarl, which is solid. <laughs> the special attack drops were there. Definitely were there. And I don't think I used my Terra this game. I should I should have used it. I should have realized that they had Tailwind and popped the Terra on the red ram there. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one. Let's go hop into our third. All right, ladies and gentlemen, third and final match is here going up against Terrapagos. Nice little Terrapagos team. They don't have any weather control. Actually, they might be Rock and Rain Dance with Sableye, which is definitely a little scary. But we're going to have to watch out for a few different Pokemon on this team. They got a few fake out users. They got a lot of good stuff. But I'm going to go into Grafia here. I do like being able to go for Switcheroo and all that good stuff. And I think I'm going to end up leading a Pokemon like Regiram. Or do I just go in with you and maybe just try to pop a D-Dance? I think that's good. I'm going to go into both of them, and then I'm just going to go to the chi yu Ram combo in the back end. I like that a lot. I originally wanted to do that in mat in the last match, but again, we needed more weather control, so I ended up bringing Ninetales instead of the chi yu so I like this. I do like this, but we're 1-1. One one. We'd love to go with that 2-1 winning record for you guys, but Terrapkos is a great little Pokemon. 
And honestly, I haven't really been Thrashalizing, so let's be honest, not Thrashalizing here is going to be good for us up against Trap Ghost. But they're going to end up going into Trap Ghost and Sableye. Sableye can fake out. I mean, I can set up a D dance, which could be pretty good. He's going to tear his shit up. Um, I could just Iron Ball. I could just hand him the Iron Ball, which is pretty good. I could just hand him the Iron Ball. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal his item. I'm just go for a Dragon Dance here. A little bit of D-Dance action. A little bit of D-Dance. So Switcheroo comes out here. He could be going for a Combine. That's definitely an option. So I might just party shot into it next turn. So we switch items with him. We're going to give him the Iron Ball. And we are going to grab the Covert Cloak. And he's going to set up Reflect. So I think his whole plan here is just to set up Combines. Behind screens. Makes the most sense. At that point I can start parting shotting if I want to. I think that's hands down what he wants to do. But now has the Iron Ball. Yeah, Calm Mind behind screen. So we're going to party shot into that slot. Um, it is good that we are boosted in in uh, physical attack. But yeah, I'm just going to go for parting shot now. And I'm just going to look just throw Dragon Claws into this slot. I know he is going to have the Terror Shell here. But I mean, Sableye's just going to have screens up. Oh man, I hate screens. I hate screens. I hate screens. Hate screens, hate screens, hate screens. He ends up withdrawing Sableye. And Robum's gonna fly through. So Robum's ready to fake out. We are parting shotting into this slot. And could just bring out Chiyu. Could bring out Chiyu. We'll see a Terra. So he's gonna put on the, this Terra helmet. Whatever you wanna call it, the Terra crown. And he's looking for some big time damage with Terra Star. So good thing we are parting shotting into this slot. Getting that attack drop. He's looking to fake us out next turn. Could go in a res ram. I, I I don't I don't really know how to play this one. You know, Tra trap ghost is a just a good Pokemon, especially if a combine boost. It's really strong, but it does have Iron Ball, which is nice. It is slowed. It's slowed down and it is back to normal on special attack. It only has a special defense boost. But after we get rid of Terror Shell, Dragon Claw can do, do some damage. It can do some damage. Now, who do I go into here? I couldn't go into my choice scarf Pokemon, which I actually really like. I really like going into a fire type Pokemon. Choice Scarf or no Choice Scarf? I'm gonna go into Reshiram here. Reshiram just does damage. Just does some damage. So I'm gonna end up going into Reshiram here. And now the big threat stands on the field. I just wanna see how much damage this trap goes to going to do with Terror Star Storm. Dragon Call is gonna fly here. Actually, that didn't really do that much damage. This thing's just so bulky. So Terror Star Storm flies here. Looking real scary. Don't like it one bit. How much damage are we doing? That's a, that's a good chunk. Now this thing does pose. Now, now, now we're posing a threat right here. It's like he if he fakes out. He, I don't know who he's gonna fake out, but actually let's just go for a heat wave here. I don't know who he's gonna fake out. I'm just gonna double down into Terrapagos here. He's gonna fake out the Res Ram slot. Kind of annoying. Terra Star Storm might KO now. Dragon Call flying, chunking up damage into Terrapagos, and I'm flinching. Combine's gonna boost, and that's a bad mistake. That's a big mistake right there. That's a big mistake right there. Allowing me to get off another turn here. Allowing me to get off another turn. I'm going for Heat Wave again. Dragon Claw doubling down. I'm surprised you didn't just go for Terra Star Storm and look for the KO. And honestly, he eliminated his uh, the terrain on the field. He eliminated terrain on the field. Ends up withdrawing Robin, which is fine. Are you gonna go into Incineroar? That is definitely a possibility. Now you go into Ogre Pond here, which is not that big of a deal. I mean, neutral damage heat wave. I'll take that all day. And you just protect the Terrapagus. So I think he wants to go for follow me now. I think he's looking to go for follow me. So we're choosing the heat wave. You can't Thrasilize anymore. Hmm. Definitely want to go for follow me and Terra Star Storm. I think that's that's the play that we're doing. Heat waves doing damage. Who's faster? Actually, not even a question. Uh, my Roaring Moon's faster. My Roaring Moon is faster. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna go for another Dragon Call here. Let's see that. If you go for follow me, go for follow me. I just hope you don't go for follow me. Actually, maybe I should just Dragon Call into Ogre Pond, but he goes for follow me regardless. Okay. The Dragon Claw gonna pick up the KO. Bye bye, Ogre Pine. They're looking to get off one more Terra Star Storm. Rest Ram is gonna go first. Can we connect this Heat Wave? Get a crit, maybe? You missing? I think you're missing. No, you're not. Cool. Thank you. 
And we don't get the crit. So this thing's soaking pretty well. Terror Star, so we're gonna fly here. I'm gonna say bye bye to Resram, but actually we might say bye bye to both. He combine boosted again. Soaking. Okay, yeah, Resram gone. War Moon soak. Okay, that's good. So the Iron Ball is still in the what's it called's hands. It's still in the Trap Ghost's hands. Um, I could go into you. But I think just going in Chiyu at this point. But I just realized that they have Reflect up. I totally forgot about it. I was wondering why my Dragon Claw wasn't doing that much damage. But it makes so much more sense now. So Rillaboom going to end up flying out here. He does have Fake Out ready to go. I feel like you have to Fake Out my Chiyu. I just think you have to Fake Out my Chiyu. We're actually turning out and about. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna go Heat Wave here. Heat Wave and just protect my boy. I mean, they can fake out, they can Grass Guide into this slot. We might have to swap into Grafia until we get rid of Rollaboom. So I'm just gonna protect the Roaring Moon here. Protect the Roaring Moon. Fake out is going to. Ooh, no. He's just gonna protect the Terrapagos, which is fine by me. He's gonna go for the fake out into the Roaring Moon. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Heat Wave land to you. Might not KO, but I like the damage output here. You might. Not KO, but you gotta land and get some damage here. Thank you, Chiyu. And you do KO. Let's go. That's huge. Because I was scared of Rollaboom going for fake outs or grassy glides to KO my Roaring Moon on low HP. But now we're just getting back some HP. Reflect should end soon. And they only have Sableye left. So we just have to target down the Strapagos. This Terrapagos has gotta go. He's gotta go. So Sableye comes out here as their final Pokemon. Um, Yeah, we, it's, it's time to double down here. It's time to double down. I mean, how many turns are in Reflect left? What do, what do you got? Still two turns, man. Still two turns. By doubling down, I think we can pick up a KO. You got Fake Out rolling. It's getting real scary. Heat Wave gonna connect. Any KOs? See you by down low. Terra Star, so I'm gonna pick up. I, that might double KO me. Don't KO my Chiyu. That's why I can't Terrasalize. Like, Terra Star, so I'm gonna be super effective if you do. And I survived that, which is great. Good news. Okay, so now we're down to Grafia. And I don't think Grafia can attack at all. I don't... Does Grafia have any attacking moves? You have knockoff. You have knockoff. Cool. You do have knockoff, but I really don't want to knock off the Iron Ball, right? I really don't want to knock off Iron Ball. We're going to go for Heat Wave. We are going to go for knockoff here. I'm going to knock off the Iron Ball. I kind of have to. And we'll go from there. As long as Heat Wave lands, KO. But he's just gonna protect. Heat Wave, can you land? Can you land here? Just KO the Sableye. Sets up the light screen. But Reflect's gone after this. Reflect is gone. You just have to land on the Sableye. And we have a hot shot to win this game. Okay, cool. You do land. So Sableye's gone. Hold up. Coming down to the wire. The rap goes just such a huge threat. I didn't Terrasalize all game because once you Terrasalize, Terra Star Storm becomes super effective onto any Pokemon that is Terrasalized. So, Terrasalize is just bad news up against it. Alright. Alright. So now he's got Light Screen out. Reflect's gone though, so maybe Knockoff can do some nice damage. Choice into Heat Wave. Actually, now's probably the time to actually choice into Fire. Just to get the damage. Yeah, it's a good call for me. We want the damage output here, so we're gonna choice into the, the Fire. Now's a great time to do it. Now's a beautiful time for the Fire Terror. So they put up the light screen. We're going to try to neutralize it with this Fire Terror getting the damage boost. It might not KO, but if Knockoff follows through without the Reflect now, we should be able to KO. So there's Heat Wave coming in hot here. Just finish it off with that. Gee, you just finish off. You don't knock off. I need you. Grafia, finish it off. My dog, yo. I, I knew Grafia was here for a reason. Big dog coming in with Knockoff. Finishing off this Terrap Ghost solid third and final battle, we go 2-1 with a winning record. Ladies and gentlemen, I present a winning record with this Regiment team. Actually had a lot of fun using it today, pairing it up with Grafia and Nine Tails to set the sun, then doing an insane amount of damage with choice specs. But huge shout out to my boy Grafia. Knockoff picking up that KO on the Terrap Ghost, giving us that winning record. We love it. We love it so much. But guys, that's going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.